a builder from the UK has at last built a house by the sea, claiming it is tsunami proof. The house merges in the landscape. It is on the Puar Island, some 30 kilometers from Kovalam. Mark Reynolds hit on the idea after the tsunami. He was in Kerala when the killer waves sucked in lives and property. Mark says the hydrodynamic shape will shield it from the waves. Facing the sea, the pier-shaped structure sits on a hollow masonry block that can hold 75,000 litres of water, enough to meet water needs of a family for three months. This particular building is a pear-shaped building, like an aircraft wing. It's designed to take the impact of the tsunami wave and the water flows around it smoothly. That uh, means the water doesn't erode the foundations and things like that. And the upper structure is um, aesthetic, looks a bit like a lantern, and so we spent a lot of hard work and many hours with the carpenters having these walls leaning out, as you see, which is quite difficult geometry. Um, but the carpenters were very good. And um, we're very pleased after all our efforts of two years that it's now come to a close and it's finished. Um, we've learnt a lot. And I think to get the price down to a practical level, we can alter the design a little bit to make it even more useful for coastal villages. Battered walls, winding stairs and a wooden superstructure with the walls jutting out to make up the house. The bedroom on the second floor is built over a bathroom. The materials used in the construction of the building are mostly local. Only the bamboo ply panels covering the sides have come from Azam. Mark is critical of the houses being built for the tsunami victims in Kerala. For they are the same old type of houses washed away by the waves. The tsunami house built at a cost of 3 lakh rupees is ideal for the coastal areas. It is part of the Friday's Place Eco Lodge and Homestay, a venture by Mark. The resort won the award for innovative technology at the World Travel Mart at London in November 2006. Friday's place depends mostly entirely on solar and energy. A bank of eight solar panels power the lights, water pumps and most of the kitchen equipment. This house is meant for honeymoon couples, but you can easily modify it for a typical Indian nuclear family and it will cost a little over 3 lakh rupees.